In this video, I'll help you make a decision on whether you should lend money to your friend or not. And if you did, under what circumstances? Hi, I'm Samuel. Let's get right into it. The first question I would ask myself is, who's asking? Do I know this person? Is it a good friend? Is it someone I've known for years? Or is it someone I just recently met? And I think depending on the answers, I would decide whether I would even consider lending money to that person. You want to see more videos? Subscribe, comment and like this video. So let's suppose you kind of know the person. The person is really close to you. They seem like a trustworthy person. Should you lend money to them? Well, it kind of depends on yourself. Are you scared it might ruin the friendship um, if they don't repay you? Are you afraid they are not gonna pay you back? I mean, if you're actually afraid, that might just be an indication of them not being very trustworthy. So I guess the, it's, a, it's a very difficult question to answer if you don't know the circumstances. And I feel like only you know whether you should trust the person or not. I've had it in the past that people have asked me for money and you know some people I've lent some money and some people I've just declined I've just said sorry I can't lend you on any money and I also feel like if people get upset because of that one it kind of means that they are not really your friend I, I personally think your friend should not be there to lend you money um, of course it's nice if they do, but if they don't, you shouldn't get upset about it. So you really shouldn't be scared to say, no, I'm not going to lend you any money. But at the same time, obviously, if you want to help out your friend, you can consider it. Uh, so I think it really depends on the person, but also there's other things to consider. Are you even able to lend money? Are you in a financial situation where you can afford to lose the money? Because let's be honest, the chance that you might not get paid back is there. It might not be very high and maybe you trust the person, but in the end, you know, if you don't have the money, chances are, you know, it's going to be gone. So, of course, we're not hoping for that outcome, but it's just a possibility. And if you're really dependent on the money, you shouldn't lend it. The other thing I would say is that if you decide to lend someone money, you should set some terms. So, it should include the amount, it should include the time when it's paid back, um, maybe potential interest if you want to charge your friend a little extra. Um, but obviously that's up to you. Uh, what I personally like to do is I'll just write down a contract. And it's worked quite well for me. Uh, that one I feel like has a... like. It kind of reminds people that they will have to pay you back because you have it in written you can show it to them uh, there's like an agreement and it's not so iffy you know so I personally like to write things down maybe it's just because I'm German and that's the way we do things we just write everything down uh, but yeah but that's just my way and honestly speaking I even have a lot of contracts with in my family so within like with my dad for example I have a lot of contracts um, but even with friends, I really do have a lot of contracts um, regarding money. Uh, so I did buy a property once uh, with one of my friends and it was kind of difficult to put him on the finance. So basically what I did, I wrote down a contract because um, he wanted to buy 50% of the property and uh, it wasn't really possible for us to finance it together. Um, so I had to do it by myself and then it ended up being, um, it, we ended up writing it down in a contract and we wrote down, okay, that's the amount you owe me and that's uh, how much you're going to pay me back every month. And then, you know, after what, how many years are you debt free? And then uh, also obviously about the income, the rental income. Uh, how we split it. I, I mean, just basic things, honestly. Uh, it's just that we split everything, you know. It's just we wrote down everything that was kind of logical and that we said and, y you know, all the duties and all the rights. So uh, it, it's worked really well. Um, 
but it, it, it doesn't have to work for you, you know, it, it kind of depends what kind of friends you have, you know, if you have friends you really, uh, y y you know, if you have friends who you trust, if you have friends who you've, you've had a long relationship with, then it might work for you too. So, you know, that particular person, um, has, I, I've been friends with him for over 10 years now, so um, for me, that's kind of a good sign. And also, it kind of depends on how they perceive money, if they have like a similar attitudes towards money, I suppose. Uh, so, you know, do they treat money like, do they just spend randomly or do they really uh, try to use money wisely? Yeah, I think that's, that's one indication for me as well, where you can see whether someone is trustworthy or not. You could also consider just alternative methods. Yeah, if someone is, is asking you for money, they need some cash. Uh, they don't really need anything else. But at the same time, you know, you might just not have the money or you might not really want to give it up or you, you've just recently met the person where I definitely wouldn't recommend lending any money. Um, so how else can you support them? I mean, you can just support them emotionally. Maybe you can help them get a better job or uh, encourage them to apply more or do like an extra job somewhere. Maybe you know someone who has some part-time job available where they can fit in and um, get some extra income so that they can cover their expenses or whatever they, they have or why they need the money. Um, I think those are also possibilities. Um, even though it might not really be what your friend wants, uh, it still might be the best solution for everyone. Because let's be honest, if your friend doesn't pay you back, even though you expect him to, you're going to be pissed. And then in the end, you're going to maybe lose a friend, which is also not really what you want. And So I would be a little cautious. Another way of looking at it is, if you lend some money, you might not get it back. And you should consider the possibility that it won't be paid back and therefore you will suffer a loss. But if you're okay with that, because you're thinking like, okay, it's a good friend, you know, even if I don't get paid back, I'm not gonna be pissed, it's not gonna damage the relationship completely. I might never lend the person again, but it's kind of a risk I'm willing to take so the person, so I can help the person out, uh, then you, you can do that, you know, you can, you can find uh, a way of not really worrying about the money and not really damaging the relationship if you just consider the money gone. You just think, okay, it's gonna be gone. If I get it back, it's nice. If I don't get it back, it's all right too. So that, that's another way of looking at it. I've personally gotten burned before. Uh, one employee once asked me to give them some money in advance, uh, money they, they, that they hadn't worked for. Um, in the end, the person got fired after a few days and then they never really paid me back. So I guess that's not really, it wasn't really a friend, <laughs> but at the same time it was kind of like me lending someone some money and I thought because they work for me, they'll get some money back, but you never know and then, you know, the person wasn't really honest and didn't never pay me back and yeah, that, that was kind of unfortunate, but also a good lesson. Uh, yeah, but I, I feel like if your friend doesn't pay you back, I personally would be a little upset, so... Um, but I also wouldn't be afraid to really ask for it and say, oh, when I'm gonna get my money back, I'm actually upset because you haven't, ha haven't honored our agreement. You wanna see more videos? Subscribe, comment and like this video!